a couple of new KDE apps have landed in the KDE Neon repositories, and in this video I'll be looking at the Chronometer Stopwatch. So this is what I was using before, an old program called, literally, Stopwatch. So it does look very basic and very dated there, and even the icon is uh, very crude around the edges. So I'm going to look at Chronometer here, and a ah, very humorous icon they have there, Leet. Hmm. And I have to say, it does look a lot nicer. Well, it is a native cute application and would look a lot nicer in my KDE desktop. It respects the theming that I have. So you've got the basic features along the top here, start, pause, reset, and doing lap times. You can also do them with keyboard shortcuts as well. So you have spacebar to do the start, stop, enter for a lap time, and then I can reset with F5. Let's just get a few lap times in here. Just want to show you a couple of the features. Let's stop that. So I can save it as a particular session. Test three. I can reopen one of my earlier sessions and you can see it has the date and time of when I took the recordings there. So yeah, that opens up another view of chronometer. You can export the lap times and you can export them as CSV or a JSON document. You can copy the time that's currently displayed. Open up something like Kate and paste the value and you can see it there, 596, uh, 596. If you don't like the condensed menu view, you can open up to a menu bar. That's a bit of a different style now. Yeah, that... Uh, covers most of it really. I suppose a stopwatch is only a simple application. There's only one thing that I found doesn't work is the help. Chronometer Handbook F1 goes off to Chrome or the browser and it says branch stable five is not available in the specified application or language. Okay, and that's the online help is missing. Oh well, never mind. I think I've just covered all the features there. Now, how difficult is it? I much prefer this to my old stopwatch program. I do have the occasional uses for this, so yeah, I will use it again. So thanks for watching, and see you all later.